So we're going to come up with a theoretical probability for an experiment we did before. And the experiment was where we took a pair of dice and we rolled the two dice and we add up the numbers that you get on these six-sided dice and you see if that sum, if that total, is a multiple of three or not. And what we're going to do is uh, I'll go through a bit of a thought experiment and to come up with a theoretical probability. So the first thing you do is to write down all the possible values, all the possible things that can happen when you roll a pair of dice. So you could call them out and write them down at random, you know, you could get a 4 and a 3 and then a 2 and a 5 and then a 1 and a 6 and then a 4 and an 8. Well, you couldn't get an 8, could you? But um, the trouble with doing it that way is that uh, when you're finished, after you've called out, you don't really know if you've got them all and you don't really know if you've got some of them twice or that sort of thing. So we're going to do, write them out sort of systematically. Here we have uh, a 1 on the first die and a 1 on the second die and then we go across this way we're writing down all the things that can happen if you've got a 1 on the first die. So you've got a 1 on the first die and a 1 on the second die, a 2 on the second die, a 3 on the second die, a 4 on the second die, a 5 on the second die and a 6 on the second die. And then you write down for a 2 on the first die, a 1 on the second die, 2 on the second die, 3 on the second die, 4 on the second die, 5 on the second die, 6 on the second die. So after a while you sort of see the pattern and it gets to be quicker. So then we know we've got 1 on the first die in this row, 2 on the second die, th sorry, 1 on the first die, 2 on the first die, 3 on the first die. As you go down each row, 4, 5 and 6, so you go down each column, you've got all the ones on the first on the second die, all the twos on the second die, all the threes on the third die, all the fours on the fourth die on the second die, etc. etc. So you can see pretty quickly that there are 36 possible things that can happen when you roll the two dice. And so now what we're going to do is uh, show the sums. So one and one is two. 2 and 3 is 5, 3 and 4 is 7, 4 and 4 is 8, 5 and 4 is 9. And um, there's a bit of a pattern there, like we'll turn off the possibilities and just have a look at the pattern. Here we've got a 2, and we've got two threes, and then all these, four, all these sums are 4, all these sums are 5, all these sums are 6. So all the, all the numbers on the diagonals, on these diagonals, are all the same. When you go back and you look at it, you can sort of see, well, 2 and a 1, and a 1 and a 2, both add to 3. A 3 and a 1 is 4, a 2 and a 2 is a 4, and a 1 and a 3 is 4. So because we've laid them out in this sort of mathematical way, mathematical thinking sort of a way, we get this nice pattern drops out. And if we turn this off, the interesting thing about this is there's more ways of getting a 7, like there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ways of getting a 7, but there's only one way of getting a 2. Now, it's, there's nothing magical about the 7 or the 2. It just happens that when you roll a pair of dice, that there are more ways that you can get a 7. All right? and if, you want, if you want to get a 2, you have to, you have to get a 1 on the first die and a 1 on the second die. That's the only way you can get a 2. But when you roll the first die, no matter what number you get, it's always possible, if you get the right number on the second die to get a total of seven. Alright, so now what we're going to do, because we're interested in multiples of three in this totals column, we're going to highlight the multiples. And so we might just turn the possibilities off and we've got here are the threes highlighted, the sixes highlighted, the nines highlighted and the twelve highlighted. That's all the multiples of three from this experiment. And when you count them all up, you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 multiples of 3 out of the 36 possible, so that's a third. 12 divided by 30, 36 divided by 12 is 3. So we've got a third. The chances of getting a multiple of 3 when you roll the two dice is... 12 out of 36, or one third. So that's the number if you looked at the experiment where we actually tried a few times. The number that 
we are expecting at the bottom would be 33%. That would be the theoretical calculation of the probability. Save you doing that experiment thousands and thousands of times.